Hello, I'm Captain Stacy Spell, Commanding Officer of Media Relations with the Los Angeles Police Department. And I am Osvaldo Juarez with the Radio Television News Association. We want to discuss how members of the media and police can best work together to ensure the rights of journalists are respected as police officers work to facilitate First Amendment protected activity. The internet and social media platforms have allowed many independent and non-affiliated community members to cover and report on newsworthy events. The Los Angeles Police Department does not require a press credential for a community member or news reporter to cover press conferences, rallies, or demonstrations. A press credential is required to enter police and fire lines to cover news events which may happen behind such lines. Additionally, the department has had a long-standing rule to recognize press credentials issued by other law enforcement agencies. In some cases, a reporter or a photographer's official employee identification may also work. To view the LAPD's media press credential policy, visit lapdonline.org. The site will also take you through the requirements and process to obtain a press credential per the Los Angeles Municipal Code and City Charter. California laws such as 409 and 409.5 PC define some duties and responsibilities of the police and the media at the scenes of civil unrest and at the scene of natural disasters such as fires, earthquakes, and other calamities. The goal of these statutes is to ensure police officers and members of the media both work together to facilitate reasonable access while adhering to measures meant to protect police command posts, crime scenes, and the safety of all media and community members. If you're a member of the media, always consider your safety first. In the event of a public assembly has been declared unlawful, here are some steps you can take to ensure your safety while preserving your right to cover the assembly. Move to a position of safety away from the crowd. Approach an officer or supervisor in the scene and ask for a designated media area. Ensure you have a visible identification as a member of the media. This could be a press credential, a mic flag, or clothing with a company logo. Have the company number of a watch commander or media relations representative. It is important to remember members of the media are subject to arrest if they remain at the scene of an assembly that has been declared unlawful. Police officers engaged in crowd management and crowd control maneuvers are trained to facilitate the rights of the press to cover these events. Recent events in Los Angeles and around the country have highlighted how some persons blur the lines between functioning as press versus functioning as an activist. To help keep yourself from being considered part of the protest, the LAPD recommends the following. Do not engage in conduct that shows you as an active participant in the event. Do not participate in any unlawful conduct or acts of violence. Do not interfere with the actions of the police officers at the scene or officers on a line. Move to the designated media area if an unlawful assembly has been declared. There are several organizations, such as the Radio and Television News Association of Southern California, RTNA, which help those in the business as well as independent journalists. We understand there's a growing number of people working part-time with media organizations and some individuals who use the various social media platforms to regularly report on news events. The RTNA is proud to work with the Los Angeles Police Department to ensure the fundamental right of the freedom of the press while promoting safe and professional behavior by journalists. Again, for more information about the Press Credential Program, go to lapdonline.org. And for more information about the Radio and Television News Association, go to rtna.org. Thank you. Thank you.